Hello everyone. Good evening. Welcome to Dams Delhi YouTube channel and Facebook page. I am Dr. Sachin, Psychiatry Faculty at Dams, and today I have the honor and pleasure of welcoming with me Dr. Arun Bargali. So, welcome, Dr. Arun. Uh, thank you, sir. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Thank okay, so me. Dr. Arun has secured marks of six hundred and seventy-three out of eight hundred in NEET PG twenty twenty-one results. That's a great, great performance. Congratulations, Arun, once again. Uh, thank you, thank you so much, sir. Thank you. So, how are you feeling after this result? So, feeling great, and I think a bit surprised at first because I checked my rank like twice or thrice <laughs> to see that actually it is mine. And so, of it was a pleasant like surprise because from what I had calculated, it was a bit more what than what I had calculated. So, it was but more of a surprise. Sometimes sweet surprises are good, you know. Yeah, yeah. So you must be happy now, okay? Yeah, sir. So quite Arun, happy. I will start from the beginning. When did you actually start preparing for PG entrance? So I had taken a three-year course of uh, dams, the the foundation course from third year, and uh, uh, right, I was not serious at first. During the third year, I had prepared all the notes, I had attended all classes, but I had not read them like thoroughly, uh, like from a PG point, from a entrance point of view. I was more of more Focus towards the profs because uh, as it says in the third year, thoda, you know, it's a time where people uh, people enjoy, enjoy. Their, themselves. Yeah, so, so that that's... was. So even in third year, you were not very serious. Yeah, I wasn't very serious about the P entrance exam uh, point of view. Even during the final year, I read those notes which I had prepared in the third year itself. I had attended the classes of the first and second year during the final year itself, but uh, my preparation during that time was more focused towards the profs rather than the. PG entrance exam. Uh, per se, uh, I didn't used to do any much much of MCQs during the uh, third and the final year. Uh, that I started doing uh, during my internship from uh, January. Absolutely. All right. So, and in first and second year MBBS, you studied of your own for your profit. yeah 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 that was yeah, that was. Uh, so this was what you did, okay. Yeah. And now thinking in retrospect, what do you think you should have done? I mean. If a third year student is asking you, sir, how should I plan to prepare? What would you recommend him to, you know, start preparing early or, you know, just enjoy a third year? So I think uh, everyone has a different, uh, you know, way of approaching things, right? So uh, what I would say is that it's entirely up to you how you uh, actually want to go about things. But I would just recommend somebody that if you want to join DAMS, then do it thoroughly right don't just stop uh, with the uh, with the one year course uh, you have to if you if you're doing dams you have to do the tnd you have to do the dvt because there are things then there are new things that are added in the tnd core uh, uh, there are new things that are added in notes uh, in the tnd in the dvt you learn a couple of new things which are really really helpful and uh, that would makes it a complete package for every subject of dams especially all right what I want to say. that would be very important uh, tip for the juniors who are understanding Okay, yeah. so in internship, you did test and discussion? Yeah, I did test and discussion of TAMS. How was your experience with TND? Yeah, that, uh, it was quite good, right? Because it used to uh, give me a you know, set of uh, notes, right? Which, which could be used uh, for a rapid revision, right? Because uh, coming towards the uh, end of your preparation, you need something where you can, uh, you know, complete them, finish the entire syllabus uh, within what, 10 to 15 days, right? That's what you need, especially after the fact that after april uh, we used to get we, we, we were just given a, a one month period to prepare for need like they just gave us a date ki itte month pe need hai. so for that you need something uh, where you can do the entire syllabus in just 10 15 days and i think that that's where the tnd and the dvt uh, helped me because i could oh. revise that time and again and uh, it was really helpful for me. How were the discussion videos or, you know, by the teachers who are teaching in TND? Yeah. So, sir, uh, I think I had attended uh, the first two to three months were offline. I had attended your class was also the first one, I think. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, Psyche was the first that uh, we attended yeah, uh, in I, January. I, ITO center of MAMC. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, your special center. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so th that was the first one. And that's where, you know, you click that, you know, TND is really helpful because it gives you, firstly, tells you how much you have uh, prepared from that particular subject. You're reading it once. You don't really get the hang of it when you read it once. So when you give the test, you actually know where you stand. 
and then uh, you know discussion uh, really helps you uh, grasp those concepts as well like where you actually uh, get to know that what you haven't done from that particular subject so you, you go back you can revise that and you know that can really help you with each uh, that's for each subject hmm. all right so then uh, when you managed with tnd when did you complete your first reading approximately uh, yeah my first reading uh, during the because that was a time when you know uh, the covid had started right from april so we had got a lot of time right before our uh, internship you know resumed back to you know slightly normal back we had a lag of around what uh, two to three months where we were you know really idle so that that's where you can you know uh, i got my momentum to study and uh, i had uh, finished my first reading right around the end of july all right uh, yeah so how did you plan revisions yeah that was uh, after that uh, the month of i i, I took uh, a couple of grant tests at that point of time i had started taking grant tests from april uh, i took one or one or two grant tests during the first reading itself and uh, when i had finished my first reading i took a couple of grant tests uh, within a period of around 2 to 3 days to see where actually i stand and that was right uh, it told me ki which subjects actually uh, are right completely uh, i've gone blank in them so i had start at uh, that that end i started with those subjects which were really weak in those two uh, grant tests right there and it took me right around what two months uh, right uh, before uh, the inct when i had finished my second reading all right okay yeah. then uh, you gave november inict and then you yeah. uh, were planning for january then the exam got postponed how was postponed. the postponement of exam for you yeah actually uh, right when we were about to give the inct and that was the time when uh, we got to know that the uh, neat was uh, has been postponed so you know that uh, got me quite laid back ki ab to bahut late hai paper hmm. so that uh, you know took the entire of uh, december and a bit of january out for the preparation but then uh, i think once uh, we completed our internship uh, in jan uh, we uh, we left college we headed home and that's when uh, during the month of feb march and april was the you know the, the crucial time when uh, we had, i had i had i worked uh, uh, worked hard a lot and you know i was really prepared uh, for the april exam but uh, once it was uh, again was in april itself like that was when the you know it, it just it just hit ki ab to it's just nothing abhi to kuch hai nahi karne ko you know mm-hmm. that's where the you know uh, the problem started rising right because you had no uh, goal ki up paper hai up paper hai so that's uh, where my momentum started you know decreasing and uh, that was the reason that i didn't perform that well in the inict of july itself and you know, then, then you gathered again yeah that's when you know uh, that was the thing that my friends were quite helpful at that point of time you know they uh, came the kid they came uh, to my home they called me then encouraged me ki chalo koi nahi it happens it has happened to a lot of people it's not like just you and it it's not that you have you haven't prepared well it's just that you need just to one month of more preparation that quite helped me my friends quite helped me at that particular point of time after the nct result to you know gather momentum to back again so what was your strategy on the date of the neat exam so i had you know i had uh, just right before the uh, neat exam i had finished studying I, i didn't study much on that day itself because you know jitna zyada just like jitna zyada padhoge utna zyada lagta hai ki ye bhi reh raha hai ye bhi reh raha hai so i had finished uh, whatever i wanted to do i just finished around 8 pm i sat i sat back i listened to some music i went to bed at 10 right around 10 uh, i couldn't sleep much but you know i didn't look at books to you know it just increases your anxiety right there uh more so the morning was quite uh, gloomy because the weather was weather in delhi at that day was quite bad so luckily i had uh, started early to the, i started early for my center so i reached on time because quite a couple of people didn't manage to reach there the center yeah. itself so how much you attempted uh, i attempted 197 uh, questions out of 200 okay so you must have got around 160 165 plus correct Ah, sir. How was this paper according to you? 
so from what i've heard from everyone it was they say that it was a eb it was an easy paper but i wouldn't say it was easy right because yeah you can say that the topics they asked were quite uh, familiar but the options were such uh, that you couldn't distinguish like if you didn't know the concept well you couldn't distinguish between either of the four options because they were quite close options right if you just had a you know superficial knowledge of the sub, uh, of the topic you couldn't uh, distinguish ki kaun sa answer hai unse like you usually in most questions you'd end up uh, getting the you eliminate you can easily eliminate two options right ki ye to nahi hoga but this was one paper just where all four options were quite familiar got it yeah. okay so you have given a lot of insight into the paper and the preparation just before we finally call off the interview any general yeah. advice from your side to your juniors who are watching you today yeah i would just say ki uh, i think uh, most of it is to surround yourself with positive people right that's the most important thing that you need someone who can who will encourage you for uh, every uh, at at every step you know you don't need at this point of time you don't need negative thoughts at any point right the more negative thoughts you have it will really you know put a dent in your preparation right so that is most important focus on what you study right uh, multiple revisions as you know sumesh sir says that multiple times ki jitna other revision there's nothing as one good revision jitna zyada revisions karenge utna is good enough okay thank you so much arun for being with us and we wish you all the best on behalf of team labs for your future as well thank you so much thank for you, being thank, thank you. you sir thank you so much hmm.